In 1918, two Danish engineers, Axel Peterson and Arnold Paulsen, joined the Electrical Phono Film Company. Their aim was to explore the possibilities of high-class recording and to develop one of the first synchronized sound film systems in the world. 95 years ago, in uh, 1918, um, the film industry was undergoing a tremendous development. And a group of Danish businessmen decided to establish a company to make soundtracks. At that time, all the films were silent movies. So this group of Danish businessmen, they contacted two very experienced engineers, Axel Peterson and Arnold Paulsen. And they accepted the assignment, and that was a very good thing for Waterfall. While licenses were established for the technology, Peterson and Paulsen's system became the method of choice throughout Europe. The system they invented was innovative in two ways. One was that the optical signal for the sound was in a different way, the area method. The other thing was that the signal for uh, pictures and for sound were separated on two reels. This meant in the cinema the two reels they had to be synchronized. But having achieved that, that was a much simpler and more economic solution for the cinemas. And that was the attraction of the system. In 1948, Ortofone developed the first cartridge, the MC Mono A. And in 1958, the first SPU pickup came to the market. In 1945, Ortofone developed and launched a new cutting head for cutting records. That cutting head extended the upper frequency limit to 14 kilohertz from the former normal 5 kilohertz. So in order to, to be able to, to use that new frequency range, a new cartridge also has to be developed. That cartridge was developed by Autophone and launched in 1948. In 1958, Autophone launched the next new cartridge, the SPU. That cartridge had a totally new design. It was a moving coil design uh, which means that the electrical output voltage is generated by a coil moving in a stationary magnetic field. In 1969, Ortofone began designing and manufacturing magnetic cartridges as an economic alternative to the renowned Ortofone moving coil cartridges. These moving magnet uh, cartridges has the advantage that they can be made in two parts, so the part with the stylus can be removed and furthermore, they can be made in an automated production. Therefore, it's possible to make them a little bit more widely available for the customers. In the 1970s, Ortofone developed and brought to market the Concord type pickup that is widely used and favored by DJs and professionals to this day. It has a very iconic uh, design, meaning that it's easily recognized by all users. Even some of our competitors have tried to copy it. It is uh, very easy to use because it has a universal connector, so it connects directly to the tone arm, and the DJs using it can, can easily change cartridge and using it without any setup. Since the 1980s, the development of new MC pickups have been driven by new materials and process technologies. The magnet used in earlier cartridges would normally be uh, alnico magnets or ferrite magnets which are with very low uh, energy density. But the, the samarium cobalt and neodymium magnets made it possible to achieve greater, larger magnetic fields in the air gap where the coil is sitting, but also at the same time reducing the size. Five years ago, Ortofone saw the potential for SLM and pioneered the use of this new technology for consumer products. Following this, SPU A90 and MC A90 cartridges were introduced as a celebration of Ortofone's 90th anniversary. Well, as we always do, we optimize the functionality of the parts to give the best product to the company. So in that matter, we had a meeting where we actually discussed about the freedom of the geometry and the freedom of the material properties. Uh, then we have been uh, implemented during diff different loops and uh, optimize uh, the product. The development of these new cartridges was the result of numerous years of research and the emergence of new manufacturing technology called rapid manufacturing. 
When you start with a 3D file, you've got it on your computer and you slice it layer by layer and then you build it on top of each other. That you use it with actually uh, plastic powder, metal powder, titanium, stainless steel or whatever you would like to. You could also use it with chocolate. Then you just build it on top of each other. So in itself, the system is about the same. It's just the way you are doing the things. Uh, but it gives much more flexibility also because you can actually change the material on the way or you can also have more than one uh, characteristic in the material. Today, Ortofone's story continues on. Ortofone's competencies in materials, magnetism, acoustics and micromechanics have led to the establishment of a separate business-to-business -business division, Ortofone Microtech, which sells components to the hearing aid industry. We knew that the hearing aid industry wanted a better bone conductor. So we talked to some of the important players in the hearing aid industry and we decided on the specs. We took the prototype, we worked with the geometry, we worked with the components, we worked with the different parameters, we worked with the assembly processes. We did an enormous amount of testing and trial and we came out with a much better product. And what we are doing is that, that we are trying to to apply new technologies and find uh, uses for them both in the consumer and in the, in the business to business. And sometimes we have an idea or something that we can take from the business to business and then apply it in the consumer or the other way, or the other way around. Quite specific ideas. Ortofone has a long history that upholds the best traditions by being innovative and technologically advanced. For more information, visit www.ortofone.com or call 011 45